This week's look at sports is Jess Burton, and Jess, not a great week for the home team. It was not, John. just wasn't. And anyone who knows sports trends or superstition knows there's something scary about playing a team three times in one season. No matter how good or poor the team is, beating the same team three times in one year is a tall task, and especially when that third time is in the postseason. Our magician softball team went into their Division II North quarterfinal matchup against Swampscott with that task at hand. MHS had two convincing wins against the Big Blue this season by the scores of 12-3 and 6-1. But unfortunately for second-seeded Marblehead, the superstition held true, and it was the number 10 seed Big Blue who came away with the 4-3 victory. Emily Promise did hit a home run for the Magicians in the tournament loss. The girls' tennis season came to an end in the Division II North Quarter Final as well. It was the fifth-seeded Wayland Warriors that upset the number four-seeded Marblehead Magicians by the final 3-2. In the Baseball Division II North Quarter Final, the number 11 seed Magicians took on number 3 seed Maskinomit. And despite a Drew Bassania homer that put Marblehead on the board, MHS found themselves in a 6-1 hole going into the 6th inning. The team tried to rally with 3 runs in the 6th and another run in the 7th, but in the end, it was too little too late and the Magicians season ends with a 6-5 loss. The number 2 seed Girls Lacrosse team took on number 6 Ipswich in the Division II North Semifinals. But the Tigers, who already had an upset under their belt, knocking off third seed Fenwick, had all the confidence in the world coming into a game where everyone thought they'd be outmatched. They came out and controlled the tempo for, the, for a good portion of the first half and took an early lead. And then Caroline Driscoll's three goals helped the Magicians fight their way back into the game and take an 8-7 lead in the second half. But five straight unanswered goals by the Tigers deflated all the confidence the Magicians had mustered up, and Marblehead's season ended with a 12-8 loss. MHTV covered the game, and it will be shown Monday, June 15th at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday, June 20th at 1 p.m. The third seed boys lacrosse team is the only MHS team that's still in the tournament. They got, they got the better of Wakefield in the D2 North semis, upsetting the number two seed 13-6. Max Ork scored three times, Brooks Terrell scored twice and assisted four times, and Andrew McGurin had quite a game as well. Our Magicians are on to the D2 North Final for a rematch of last year's final game against the Be Beverly Panthers. And Beverly has won the last three games against MHS going back to that game last year. And in their two meetings this year, they've been close. Beverly won 11-7 and 12-10. But remember what I said at the top of the broadcast. It's tough to beat a team three times in a season, even tougher when that third time is in the postseason, and as tough as it gets with the pressure on in the division final. And one last note before we go, it's official, A.J. Ernst is the fastest kid in the universe, or at least in Massachusetts. He won the MIAA state championship in the boys' mile run with a time of 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So congratulations to A.J. on having superhuman speed. That's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching Headliner Sports. John? All right. Thanks a lot, Jess. And that concludes this week's Headliner. I'm John Caswell. On behalf of the entire news team here at MHTV, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good week. We'll see you next time.